We have breaking news. Christian evangelist Billy Graham has died. Word came this morning that the 99-year-old passed away at his home in North Carolina just before 5 a.m. our time. CBS 2's Daniel Nottingham looks back at his life. I'd like to go to heaven. I'm looking forward to it. Billy Graham is credited with bringing the born again religious movement into the American mainstream. Life magazine listed him as one of the 100 most important Americans for the 20th century. The Son of God. He was inspired as a teenager to spread the gospel. Christ came into my life, transformed me, changed me, made me a new person. I've seen him change thousands of lives. Billy Graham's crusade caught fire. All the troubles and problems of America tonight and of the world stem from the fact that we as a human race have sinned against Almighty God. He was referred to as the unofficial White House chaplain. Nixon was a close friend and frequent golf partner. George Bush called Graham to the White House the night before he launched the first Gulf War. Younger President Bush credits Graham with turning him away from drinking and towards embracing God. Millions around the world attended Graham's evangelical crusades, bought his books, read his monthly magazine. His column appeared in more than 200 newspapers, and his weekly radio program was carried on 700 radio stations. A frail Billy Graham was honored by three former presidents at the dedication of his library in Charlotte. Shortly afterwards, his wife of more than 60 years, Ruth Bell Graham, died and was buried on the library grounds. Billy Graham reportedly told his children and grandchildren that he was, quote, looking forward to the next service when he would be buried at her side. Danielle Nottingham, CBS News. Aww. That burial is going to be a private ceremony, and they are just now planning that. His representatives are saying the inscription on his grave marker will read, Preacher of the Gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ.